All right, now let's look at our code. So we are back in Visual Studio and we see that we have our code that we pulled from ChatGPT. We know that it works, we verified it, we know the numbers are accurate. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and let's pop this Python code directly into Power BI. So to do that, if we go into Power BI, if I go in here and select Get Data, if I come in here and select more, actually, before I do that, you need to make sure you have Python installed. So to do that, go to File, Options and Settings, go to Options, and then you're gonna wanna make sure that you have Python scripting. You're gonna make sure that you have this stuff installed and everything is correct and accurate. This is a really big deal. Make sure you have the proper protocols and stuff in place. You'll get an error message if you don't have it installed. I know, I think Pandas and MATLAB needs to be installed, but uh, there's documentation out there. So make sure you have Python installed correctly. And then from there, you can actually put the script directly into Power BI. So make sure this is good first. Then if I go into Get Data, select More, then if I go into, I just type in Python scripting because I don't know exactly where it's at. Select Python script, select connect. We will see we have this box here. And if I paste in the script that we have from our Visual Studio code, select OK, we will see that a connection has been established. And now we see that we have it directly in here. And then now we can come in here and do all of our standard stuff that we would do in Power Query. So if we want to change some information, do all the standard stuff that we're used to doing, we could do this now directly in Power Query. Our Python script is connecting directly to our, our um, Power BI instance, and now we're able to clean up massages data, you know, do what we need to do with it, and it's just like you're connecting anything else. So that is how you can use ChatGPT to get a Python script, and then you can import that directly into Power BI. In the next video, I will show you how to do this in Tableau, whether it's using Tableau Prep or directly in Tableau, but either way, we'll show you how to do the exact same process in a different tool. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please hit me up. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next week for the next Technology Tip Thursday. Y'all have a great day.